Lynch's emails just leaked from tarmac meeting with Bill Clinton. See before deleted. Newly released documents obtained by the American Center for Law and Justice show that members of the mainstream media are knowingly colluding with Hillary's campaign. Watch the infamous moment below at the 30-second mark. We'll get to that to let you know. Let me repeat that. The Justice Department colluded with Washington Post and the New York Times to tamp down stories relating to the Attorney General's infamous meeting with Bill Clinton, according to this shocking report. You can read that here. Comey's FBI lied to us. Now there's a surprise, right? The ACLJ submitted the FOIA requests to Comey's FBI and the Lynch DOJ about the Clinton-Lynch plane meeting. James Comey was the head of the FBI at the time. The response they got was no rec uh, records responsive to your request were located. Here's what Varney and company had to say about the story. Stuart Va Varney said on Fox the following. Liz McDonald, I am hoping I can put it to rest. The New York Times reporter apologetically says he is being pressed into service to cover the story. A DOJ press official says, I talked with the ABC producer. He said he's not interest, uh, interested in covering it, even if Fox goes with it. Stuart Varney, this is collusion between reporters, specifically the Washington Post and the Department of Justice. It's time to lock up the traitors in the White House if you are tired of the media's attack on, the pre on President Trump. Do the following, share on social media, comment and lock them up if you want the White House to start taking action. What they're actually saying, which you'll hear in this uh, snippet here, is that the letter uh, from the Washington Post to the uh, uh, FBI, they want, it says, we want to put it to rest, the letter. that They have the documentation also. Take a listen here. I think it's frankly just as important. It's coming to us from the American Center for Law and Justice. Now, under the Freedom of Information Act, uh, this group asked the FBI for any documents related to the clinton Loretta lynch tarmac meeting. Remember that? Right before the election? At the time, the FBI, then under the direction of James Comey, said they didn't have any, do any documents. Re but documents received today include several emails between the FBI and the Department of Justice related to that tarmac meeting. Have you gone through this story yet? Have you, you I, I have. I'm not finished, but okay. it doesn't look good for uh, James Comey and the FBI. Okay. What they're saying is that there is documentation about that meeting. Well, about Comey the, said there was no documentation. About the Let's not get into the weeds too much here. It's about the FBI's response and how the talking points are going to handle talking about that meeting. The big bombshell in this is the Washington Post re reporter saying, I am hoping to put it to, I can put it to rest. Oh. A New York Times uh, reporter apologetically says he was being pressed into service to have to cover the story. And an ABC producer, uh, rather a story was breaking, the DOJ press official says, I talked to ABC producer, he's not interested in covering it, and even if Fox goes with it. So but this, was, this is collusion Link. between reporters, Media. specifically yeah. the Washington Post, specifically the Washington Post, yes. and the Department of Justice. And other collusion. media. Basically, well, bury the story. to bury the story, exactly. Correct. Push it away. Now, you know, let me, let me just say, as I said, collusion by itself is only a crime in antitrust. However, this is, if true and proven, what do you mean? They have the dishonesty emails. on the part of the media. Okay, let's back. It's not only dishonesty on the part of the media; it's dishonesty through to the FBI, the Department of Justice. You see. Now let's take a quick listen at what Lynch was saying back in the day about that meeting. Well, let's bring it back here at home, here in Phoenix, in a very interesting meeting 
on the tarmac at Sky Harbor International Airport. Just so we can laugh. 15 has confirmed former President Bill Clinton was in town and met up with U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch as she was arriving in Phoenix. Now, this meeting took place just hours before the release of the Benghazi report, so we asked her about it. I did see President Clinton at the Phoenix airport um, as I was leaving, and he spoke to myself and my husband on the plane. Um, our conversation was uh, a great deal about his grandchildren. Uh, it was primarily social and about our travels. He mentioned the golf he played in Phoenix. It doesn't end there. <laughs> We're told the private meeting on board her plane lasted about a half hour. Lynch then told us there was no discussion of Benghazi, of State Department emails really? involving Hillary Clinton, or any current matter having to do with her office, Dan. It was, 30, it was a 38-minute meeting, and you know that they were pressed for time also. So this was what she said, but they have the, from the FOIA Act, uh, they, they have the letter that states from the Washington Post, like, uh, we can, so we can put it to rest, this story, even if Fox goes with it, like we're going to bury it, in other words, the New York, New York Times and the Washington Post. Uh, New York Times was apologetic asking for the information from the uh, FBI there. It, so it, it's collusion. Yes, okay, the media. The main thing is that Comey lied under oath about this, and there's documentation proving this. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching.